Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I'm back. Thank you so much for your support of my Right Botanicals. Here we plant seeds to help improve your mind, body, and your spirit. So let's see who the Holy Spirit wants to use to plant a seed for the collective. Thank you so much for your support of my platform. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, okay? Let's see, let's see, Holy Spirit. What type of insight, guidance, and clarity do you have for us? Taurus energy. Taurus earth sign energy is going to help get out this next message. Okay. Let's see what we need to know. Let's see what's going on, y'all. Holy Spirit, we're very grateful and thankful for all of the insight clarity and wisdom that you've provided us with thus far, Holy Spirit. But what do we need to know surrounding Taurus Emperor jumped out. Taurus Earth Sign Energy, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. What is the insight, guidance, and clarity that you have for the collective from you through me, please and thank you, Holy Spirit. What is it that we need to know? Surrounding this Taurus Earth Sign Energy, please and thank you. Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's go. Get over it. Okay? Somebody need to get over it, honey. Aren't Taurus's bulls? Somebody is being bullheaded. They refuse to get over it. They refuse to give it up. They want to keep something going. Instead of letting it grow, oh, I was about to say, I was about to say let it go, but I almost said grow. They need to grow up, whoever this is. That, they, they real immature for their age, and they don't think so, but it's starting to show. People can see that they holding some sort of grudge. They got some sort of chip on their shoulder. Listen, your family loves you, but generational healing is needed. Okay. This could be a family member who feels this way, but this person also could be behaving the way they behave because of their family dynamic, how they were raised. It's something like this person was used to getting their way all the time and they're not, they didn't get their way about something and they can't get over it. I'm telling you, this energy may have been like the favorite child out of the bunch. This person probably got more attention and more privilege than other people in the family I'm getting here. Okay. And they, they holding a grudge about something, but people are at the point where it's like, you're not a child anymore that we have to spoil. We have to spoil. So maybe somebody was insisting that this person be held up on a pedestal and everybody in the family had to play along with it even if they didn't feel like that person was special okay look the gross sisters click but it's in reverse because i'm telling you it's something like whoever this this person is is the taurus okay whoever they are they used to get in their way and their family always gave them their way, even if they didn't deserve it. They don't really like this person, but they have been trained to uphold them, make them feel special, or make them feel like they were better than, okay? And now something going on with this Taurus where they're not getting their way in life. What's the situation? And ain't nobody dinner and drinks. Maybe romantically, this Taurus ain't getting their way with somebody, okay? And their family ain't backing their bullshit because, see, this Taurus been coming for you. This Taurus been trying to create a whole clique of hoes to come for you because the person she want to have dinner and drinks with want to have dinner and drinks with you. But everybody is, ain't nobody, everybody is not following her up. Ain't nobody joining this feat that she has. 
created about you. Essential oil. She do need to go somewhere and relax, relate, and release. Because, baby, I'm picking up on somebody that you know that wants to date somebody that wants to date you. Okay? They want to be with you, but she secretly want to be with them. This is somebody you know. I don't think y'all like associates or even cool with each other, but it's beef there because she's jealous of you. She's jealous of you. She need to go de-stress. DM and DF have teamed up spiritually because this divine masculine, like I said, want to be with you. So if this Taurus attempted to hook up with your DM, he rejected her because she was on some hoe shit. Okay? So that's why she really mad because she was sure that she was going to be able to get your DM to fuck her. Okay? The cards say, ho is not life, but death to your sweet soul because he shut her ass down. Whoever this masculine is, he had knowledge and foresight about this Taurus and her connection to you, okay? And he knew what she was trying to do, okay? He might talk to the birds. He may be very intuitive. He picked up that this Taurus was trying to hook up with him in some sort of way to defeat you or irritate you or have one up on you somehow. But this man miss you, okay? And he bout that math. He know that if he sleep with her, that it's going to ruin his opportunity with you because this hoe was going to make sure you found out that she fucked your DM. That's the whole plan, and he knew it. And he knew the math wasn't mathing. He know this woman... This may have been like a former friend of yours, okay? Because she too pressed. She too pressed. And this masculine know it. So no, he did not sleep with her, okay? Because he trying to boss up for you. And she mad about that shit too now. She like, oh, you must be playing. It ain't no way you rejected me. Confused, child, that hoe confused. She just knew this man was going to dick her down. But no, this man wants to establish peace and serenity with you. And he know in order to have dinner and drinks with you, he damn sure better not have slept with her. He know that. Okay. Okay. So this for somebody. I'm going to get some terror on this to identify the key players. But this your soulmate, child, who went out there in the world and got fucked up. I'm telling you now. I'm picking up on it. He done went out there in the world trying to deal with hoes like this Taurus and got burned and realized that he was never going to get over you. No matter who he let get on top of him or who he got on top of. No matter who he let cream on his dick, he ain't never getting over you, okay? And they know it too. They know it. These the type of hoes that they think because they fucking a man that they winning. They think because they, they can get on top of a man and fuck him. Or he get on top of them and fuck him. They win it. Especially if they think that he means something to you. That's the type of broads that she be about. That's, that's who she in alignment with. And everybody that's been coming at him. Because she ain't the only one. That's also what I'm getting. But whoever's been trying to come at your divine masculine, your soulmate, to tempt him and entice him with some pussy, he ain't going for it. He been rejecting all of these women. It's a number of women. It's not just this Taurus 
That's why this gross sister, this gross sister's click is also in reverse because there's other women who have purposely tried to get with your DM. It's something that he's changed up about himself that people are noticing. He's getting on his soul journey so that he can get, come towards you. He's in the three of wands as well. Okay. And they're trying to deter him. They're trying to bring him back on into Babylon. And he ain't going. I'm telling you, he, he didn't got on his soul journey. And all these karmic, demonic ass people keep trying him with sex and all these things that used to entice your soulmate. Okay? While y'all were apart. That's why y'all wasn't together. Because he was living a low vibrational life. But he's trying to move on from that, grow from that. And he realizes he can't build nothing with none of them women who throwing that cootie cat at him. The only person that he can build with is you. Okay? And he's not interested. And that's why she mad. I'm telling you, and he be real peaceful with his rejection. He don't make them feel bad. He don't call them out their name. He just be like, no, thank you. I'm good. Or sometimes he may not even respond. It's something like laugh now, cry later. Because guess what I was just about to say? It's something like this Taurus been trying to get with your DM when he was in Babylon. Okay. Slutting about with these different energies I'm picking up on. But they never took it all the way there. Like maybe they exchanged phone numbers or some shit. But he never fully followed her up. He kind of maybe flirted with her, but he backed on up off of her over time. But she was still coming in this concubine energy and laughing about it because she thought that she was hurting you, getting over on you. But the tide changed. I'm telling you, if they conversed, if they text, if they had any type of communication, it was brief. And when your twin flame fell from grace for disrespecting you, he knew who the catalyst was. Among other things, but he knew part of his fall had to do with how he betrayed you with what it looks like to be a former friend of some kind. Okay, one of them type of friends who act like they're your friend, but they're really just around you so they can learn from you and try to imitate you and copy your life and shit, okay? One of them type of people. That's who this is. So he did not go there with her. So if she ever tried to imply he did, he did not, okay? Self-defense, he knew to protect himself from her because he knew that she was going to make sure that you found out about it. Because she bipolar as hell. And he wasn't going to be her pawn. Anything else from the I Be Knowing Oracle deck? We finna get some tarot on this. R.I.P. I'm telling you, death energy. This man may be preparing to come towards you by the spring. I don't know if you're going to be around in the spring. Okay? But that may be his plan. I don't know why these people think you finna be sitting up waiting on them collective. I don't know why they be thinking that. They do, maybe because you have been chilling and he's well aware of that, but that don't mean you finna be sitting tight till no spring. What he doing all winter? Where he hold up at all winter? Shit me, okay? Because it's still like he got one foot in Babylon a little bit still. He got a, he got a big toe still in Babylon. He trying to do some soul searching. But he's putting himself still in the line of fire with these women who are trying to approach him. Trying to break him. So, you know, he's going to have to disconnect from that karmic energy completely. Or he's going to continue to be tested in other ways as well. What else, please and thank you? Who is, what do we need to know about this Taurus energy, Holy Spirit? Please and thank you. This shit flipped over in reverse. Look, page of pentacles in reverse. 
lack of commitment, learn from failure, okay? Greediness, laziness. This is that Taurus's energy, I'm telling you. She thought she was finna manifest a hot, lustful night with your DM. And that shit did not work out like she thought it was. That man didn't commit to anything with her because he want to be committed to you. And she mad about it. She mad that he rejected her. I'm telling you, she ready to fight, child. Because she ready to fight him because he don't want to fuck her. Two of Cups because he want to be with you. He been fighting off a lot of women. This man in the Five of Wands. It's probably been up to four to five women who have tried him and have gotten upset because he don't want to sleep with them no more. But that's because he want to be in a Ten of Pentacles partnership with you. You are who he considers long-term success. Family. He already know what time it is with anybody else that he deal with, okay? And there is some energy where, like, where he thought maybe you were karmic, moon to the queen of cups, okay? He know now who the karmic is, but there's a vibe like he thought you was karmic. He didn't know what karmic was, child, because he went right to karmic land, if he was in Babylon in any way, he was in karmic land. But he didn't learn that. He has learned because he thought at one point that this Taurus was outranking you, child. But he didn't learn her asses in the Page of Pentacles in reverse. She possibly presented herself this way, but she really is a strength with the Two of Pentacles. Okay. Because she was really going hard. She got Leo somewhere in her chart too. Going real hard to make this man choose her. Like, I'm going to make you fuck me. Like, come on. He knew something was up with it. Why she want to sleep with me so bad? That's what this King of Wands, King of Pentacles was saying to himself. Mm, mm, mm. temperance and the holy spirit showed him he could be like a sagittarius scorpio i always do that <laughs> it's scorpio sagittarius because death represented him twice in the oracle deck and now this temperance sagittarius energy is falling right up under him divine intervention kicked in and showed him if he wants to be with you, if he wants to have a change in his life for the better, he needed to give up that lifestyle he was living and move forward quickly on his soul journey. He needed to get going, get in gear. But he still is, got a big toe in Babylon now. And... That's how these hoes are still being able to entice him because he's still celebrating and in some sort of give and take with people who don't mean him no good. Okay. Who are not trying to see him to the finish line. They're trying to triumph over his attempt to have a victory with you. Because I'm telling you, this man is in the Three of Wands. He's received some sort of knowledge and foresight that lets him know that you are who he should be giving a romantic offer to, not nobody else. You are his divine feminine. So he's been planning and they pissed. He's been planning an exit. He's already been pulling back some and they mad about it. Okay. Mm. Because if he pulling back from all of them, then that means he's trying to heal and rekindle things with you. You could be a Pisces. You could be an Aquarius Pisces cusp. Okay. You could actually be in star energy, but this star energy is also talking about how you are a good omen. 
that he has faith that you and him will heal things and get in alignment. You did come out as this Queen of Cups moon too. You could be a Pisces, okay? But he definitely trying to heal things with you. You know, he's just not interested or invested in any of these other women. And this Taurus, I'm telling you, she mad because she couldn't get her family to hate you. So th that's why I feel like she is a former friend of some kind or an associate because it's like she went to her people and was like, yada, yada, yada about divine feminine, about this queen of cups star energy. And she was hoping that everybody was going to be like, yeah, yada, 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 yada about divine feminine in agreement with whatever she said. But they didn't. They was like, girl, grow up. Or like, what? Like, it was some energy like that. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Two of Swords, I'm telling you, they was mm -mm. avoidance. They was at a deadlock about that shit. There may be a, a few stragglers in there who was still in that karmic cycle of upholding her like she is some sort of princess. But this princess may be pushing 40 years old. Okay? She might be older than 40. Still acting like a spoiled little child who can't get over it when she can't get her way. And they wasn't going. Not about you. I'm telling you, girl. She was mad too. Chariot. Because she was trying to rally all these people. If she got siblings, sisters, cousins, friends, she was trying to get a gross sister's click of people to try to start hating on you because this man rejected her. And nobody got in gear. Justice, fairness, truth, clarity, equality, cause and effect. They knew that you hadn't done nothing for this woman to be trying to gear up others to go to go against you. They knew that you are in alignment. They have full clarity of what the truth is. And they also know what karma is. And they weren't finna come for you and cause no type of negative karma for themselves. No matter how she tried to encourage them. Because she tried to talk that talk now. But this is finna fall up under the seven of swords. They knew she was full of shit. I'm telling you, they know she jealous of you too, child. That's why this five of swords is out here. Seven of cups. Seven of wands. They ain't confused. She wanted to have options. The more people that she could rally up to hate you gives her some sort of power or prestige she felt in this man's eyes. If, a, if people hating on you or think something wrong with you and trying to cause challenges for you, then why he want to be with you? That's her mindset now. That he would reconsider his feelings for you. But this man is already emotionally out of them. I'm telling you. He's already started peering deep into the depths of his soul. And after her efforts to try to sleep with him, I think this man is about to move on for good from whatever this Six of Pentacles, Three of Cups connection is that he's been still trying to hold on to. He's coming towards you to reconnect with you and offer you this Ace of Cups. He is. He's about to restrict himself from this Taurus and anything or anyone like her for good because he see he see he can't have one toe dipped in babylon and be with you and she just gonna have to get over it get over her disappointment her failure in trying to get your dm to sleep with her final card holy spirit because this family ain't slow. Eight of swords. They know this girl trying to restrict you. Come up with this damn plan. To try to restrict you. 
put all of these negative thoughts in action against you. They ain't doing that. They not finna put a self-imposed restriction in place for them, themselves. You know, this victim mentality she in or was professing to be in, like she got to get you back for some unwarranted reason. These people not going for that. Everybody got mental clarity, okay, about this one, this woman's jealousy and envy of you, this Taurus energy. And it's almost like her family know how she been trying to get with your DM too, okay? And they don't respect her. They don't respect her anymore. And I, and I didn't gave you the background as to why they're no longer putting her on a pedestal. They sacrificing that. That's over with. All this privilege I'm picking up, she used to get at a young age. A light has been shined down on the fact that she didn't really deserve any of it at all. Hierophant, I'm telling you, that's the consensus. That's the group energy that this Taurus is really giving spoiled brat who think that she's supposed to have everything she wants and be sitting in some sort of luxury and it's what I want. She could be a parent, a provider financially for her children, a working parent. That's what the cards say. But she is some whole energy. And they know it. And she mad. Look, girl, she mad. I'm, look, confirmation. I can't hardly get it out. <laughs> confirmation, spiritual belch. This whole mad that your masculine would not sleep with her. So if there was ever this vibe or feeling that your DM, your soulmate slept with this, slept with your former friend, if she ever tried to make it seem like something went down between them, they may have exchanged numbers. They may have even texted a time or two, but he did not hook up with her out of respect for you. And I'm dropping the mic on that. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it gave you insight and guidance on how you should move forward. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. Take only what resonates, leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.